The effect of various additives on gas hydrate morphology and on pressure temperature stability can be tested, but the main interest lies in finding out how biomolecules may interact and affect gas hydrates in situ. The main advantage of this protocol is that one can reproducibly form a hydrate shell on a sessile droplet safely. Leveling the droplet stage is challenging and needs practice as the droplet slides on an uneven stage. Also, familiarize with swage lock connections and safety regarding high pressure flammable gases. Begin by connecting the methane cylinder regulator to the pump with a 1 by 4 inch copper pipe using a new nut and ferrule set. Glue a flexible tip of IV tubing cut in an angle to the end of the cannula to help direct the droplet toward the sapphire window. Attach a 1 milliliter syringe to the cannula and pull in the desired volume of deionized water. Without the needle valve or sapphire window attached, insert the end of the cannula into the top port and practice expelling the droplet onto the center stage. Reattach the sapphire window and washers with M8 screws and attach top pressure cell valve. Connect the braided stainless steel hose from the pressure pump to the pressure cell and double check that all connections from the gas cylinder to the pressure cell are tight. Open the pressure cell inlet valve and set the pressure cell in the aquarium. Then insert a fiber optic light source cable into the pressure cell illumination port. In an aquarium filled with a 50-50 ratio of ethanol and water, add more ethanol as the solution level falls in the following weeks until it is level with the top of the pressure cell just below the light source connection. Set the chiller to the temperature that will achieve approximately 0 to 3.